Yo guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a new series on the YouTube channel. Not just a single video, but a series that I actually plan on sticking to because holy crap, am I really bad at sticking to a series when I start it. Some of you longtime subscribers know this. I think I've created like four different Minecraft series and they lasted one video. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the Auto Legends Deep Dive series where each video is going to go over a specific subject or specific area of the game. And the whole goal of this is to watch the development of the game grow. I'll make updates when things change, because obviously this is an alpha. Things will change. But, at least for today, I just wanted to show off some of the ideas of the home garage. Some of these videos are going to be very long. Some of these videos will be pretty short. But I am going to get pretty in-depth as far as... You know, I might break out my free cam that I have thanks to just some Unity development tools that I know of where we can like fly around the environment and maybe take some more detailed looks at stuff around us. But today, like I said, it's the home garage. There's not much to talk about in the home garage, but I'm still going to fly around with my free cam, explain all the features of the home garage and, you know, some of my suggestions and hopes for the future. So right away. The first time you spawn in your very first account, you'll be asked if you want to go on a tutorial. Somebody is messaging me. I want them to stop. I don't get it. Discord has streamer mode. If it enables, it should also mute notifications, but it doesn't. So dumb. Anyway, so here's your home garage. The very first time you spawn in, it'll ask you if you want to go through your brace tutorial. Obviously... I don't need to do that um, because I'm already spawned in, but I'll show you my cars that I have in my garage. Some of the cool stuff you can do here in the garage is, at least on PC, if you hold your left mouse click, you can scroll around the car and take a really nice look at it. You can go up and down. You can go left and right. You can also use these little buttons on the side to scroll through your cars. I think this is one of the best looking Civics in the game currently. I know it kind of cuts through the fender when the wheels are turned, but it looks so good when the wheels are straight. But anyway, that's stuff that over time will probably change. But it's such a good looking car. Here's my VR4. These are just cars that I've gotten over the past couple days. Don't worry about how it is set up. It was for a meme video that just didn't end up coming to fruition. But... I'll stance that thing up properly, maybe in the video about editing your suspension. And my RX-7 that has the meme HP of 420 and honestly just looks so good. Honest, there is something about gigantic wheels in a game that I just really like, but I would never have wheels that size in real life. So, that's pretty much all the cars. Obviously, over time, things are going to change. Um, one of the suggestions that we've given a couple times that uh, I think admins are definitely, or admins, I say, the development team is going to eventually do is maybe allow more than one car to spawn in your garage, is what I'm hoping. So maybe this moves over a little bit. You can have one in the middle and like one over here, one or two over in the like little lit up uh, cove thing over here. Maybe you could have even two, depending on how they're parked which could be really cool. But something I want to do that might be a little bit different from everybody else's videos who might try to do something like this is break out a free cam and see what little Easter eggs we can find. So give me one second. We're going to go break some of the boundaries of the game here and what it allows and fly around a little bit. So here we go with my free cam. I can basically look around. I can go wherever I want. As you can see, we kind of spawn in here. But yeah, I'm hoping they could put like one or two cars in here, depending on the angle. Let's look at these wheels. These wheels are sick on the wall. I'm hoping they give us the ability to customize our home garages. Maybe some like custom posters on the wall, similar to like uh, No Limit Drag Racing allows you to do that. And even like way back in the car town days, some of that customization was just absolutely sick. You come over here. You'll see some art on the wall. That's a really cool muscle car. There's the other muscle car here. Walk up the stairs. Just a cool little hangout. I hope they give the ability to just like have a camera set up here and just kind of, wouldn't this be a cool wallpaper? So you guys know that software that's on Steam called uh, Wallpaper Engine. Just imagine something up here where it like makes the lights slightly flicker 
and that's your wallpaper. This would look so good as a wallpaper engine wallpaper. And then, you know, over here, you know, you got your speakers that you might have hooked up, which is thick. You got your little bar where you might want to just have a relaxing drink at the end of the day. Is there anything in these cupboards? Nope. <laughs> That's okay. So let's go over here. I'm trying not to move too fast with the camera because it is kind of quick. Got some keys on a bulletin board here. If anybody wants to, uh, you know, this kind of looks like the very bottom one kind of looks like a VW key. I don't know, but there's a cooler right here. I like to imagine that this is based on like the red cans are like knockoff Coca-Cola and then the green ones are like Dr. Lightning. If you've ever been to uh, Walmart, <laughs> there's Mountain Lightning and Dr. Thunder for the knockoff versions of Dr. Pepper and Mountain Dew. Got your orange sodas, you know, need some Red Bull in there. It would be so cool if like this game got a spot from Red Bull or Monster or Rockstar or NOS. NOS Energy, I feel like, would definitely be on it. And actually put the energy drinks in here, put their labels in the cooler. Let's see, what's this newspaper? Oh, it's an actual New York Times, like, uh, newspaper thing. That's, uh, that's kind of sick. You have your little door here. You have some lockers, a light switch. The lockers have some of the uh, stickers on them. Yo, this AL sticker is kind of sick, though. It's such an old school looking sticker. Easy peasy. Uh, you have another newspaper in here. Would be cool to put like tools and stuff in here. I don't know. Just something to spruce up the place. Then you have your arcade game over here. Close the gap. Pretty sick. I wonder if this is based on any kind of real arcade game. And what does this go to? What is it? <laughs> Close the gap. But yeah, overall, Unit 45, Unit 43. Where's Unit 44? And then I'm not going to go too far outside here. There's not much to see. Well, I guess if we're going to boundary break it. Might as well boundary break it just so you guys can see. Overall, the home garage is freaking awesome. And that's pretty much all you need to know about it right now. You know, there's your tires and stuff over there. If you go out your back door, there is another building, I guess, but like, it's not actually a door. <laughs> nah, it's okay. But, you know, pretty sick. I hope we can, I hope I can continue this series. I have a lot of really cool ideas. You're keeping it 72 in here. You want it at 70, but your door is open. I don't know how that equals out, but you are, yeah. I wish they would do like Easter eggs, like over in here, there would be like a hidden car, stuff like that. That's the kind of stuff I, but you don't really want to encourage people to use tools like I'm using right now, obviously for flying. But overall, I think the home garage is sick. I can't wait for something like a free cam that's built into the game with obviously with boundaries, unlike mine. And overall, let's see. Oh, wow, they actually did some stuff inside here. That's pretty sick. Anyway, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this first video of the series for Auto Legends Deep Dive, Auto Legends Explained. Leave an idea in the comments down below of what you think this series could be called, and I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys are excited for the future videos in this series, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.